The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. Bird Week! Bird Week! Bird Week! Yeah! Feed the baby birds butterflies! It's like Defender with birds and mushrooms! Mushrooms! Oh, this is what the game actually sounds like. It's Bird Week! For the Nintendo Famicom, what, you've never played Bird Week? Well, it's about time that you do because, to my surprise, this game's actually pretty good. Judging by the game cartridge, I thought this was going to be something horrible, but boy was I wrong. You play a bloodthirsty, murderous mommy bird saving her little ones from certain death at the hands of Mother Nature. Now that's a battle worth fighting. Level 4 brings out the flying squirrel and orange trees. Bird Week gets progressively harder as you keep playing. Collecting those butterflies and dodging enemies is quite challenging. Don't forget to pick up the mushroom and drop it on enemies. There's a message there. That's right. Just don't know what it is. If you don't feed your baby birds in time, they die. Horribly. But they leave you with some pretty rockin' music, so that's okay. Bird Week! Bird Week! Bird Week! Get the bonus! Lighthouse! One of the things, one of the many things that makes this game quite interesting beyond the art design is the controls. It's not terribly easy to fly a bird as it turns out. This thing doesn't move around the screen quite as well as many of these spaceships that you might be used to flying in other games. It is a bird after all, and now we get the woodpecker. Watch out. For the most part, it's a pretty simple game. As you can tell, you collect the butterflies, fly them back to your nest, feed your little ungrateful birds, who eventually fly away and leave you, and then rack up enormous college bills. And after about five years, they move back home and decide they're going to be herbal therapists and can't afford rent or a car, but somehow manage to have $5,000 in tattoos. Bird Week is more than a simple Famicom game that you've never heard of. It's social commentary with birds and flying squirrels and woodpeckers and mushrooms and some kind of weird thing that comes out of the ground that, when touched, turns into an alarm clock. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> Bird Week! Bird Week! Bird Week! It's a snail. I didn't realize it was a snail, and that's a stopwatch. <laughs> Dumbass. It doesn't look like it would be that much fun, but it is. There's something extremely likable about this game, and I seriously recommend it. If you can find a copy, which you never will. I spoke too soon. I just checked eBay. There's a whole bunch of them, and they're pretty cheap. So y you definitely want a copy of Bird Week. You fly around and collect butterflies and save birds and kill things by dropping mushrooms on them. Bird Week is dope. I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you to send all the way to Felicity from Worcestershire, England. Thank you for sending Bird Week. You know what I've learned about birds? They don't have lasers. At least most of them don't. That's true. I do feel like this game is a bit of a missed opportunity because they could have reskinned it and turned it into an awesome Godzilla game. Just think of it. Mothra, Godzilla, Rodan could be like the hawk flying around. That would be so cool. Bird Week! Bird Week! Bird Week! Yeah! The best of classic game room is on DVD, Blu-ray, and Laser Hypervision album set. 
Lighthouse! Lighthouse.